Ohio. Operating under the Section 202 program for more than 50 years, but without grant assistance, which usually accompanies Section 8202 development, um, this 417-unit high-rise development fell into disrepair. In 2011, the Millennia Companies and its partner, Eternal Housing Fund, stepped in to stabilize the project. They had a goal to place the project on solid financial footing, modernize the property through critical capital repairs, and procure long-term rental assistance for its current and future residents. This very unique project is just one of 12 nationwide and only one of two in Ohio to re receive a HUD Senior Preservation Rental Assistant Contract, or SPRAC. This is a highly competitive rental assistant program that aims to prevent the displacement of low-income seniors from their homes. It is also the first project to utilize a new Freddie Mac tax-exempt loan program which allowed for reduced costs associated with traditional bond deals. With this innovative but complex financing structure in place, which Millennia really likes innovative and complex financing structures, <laughs> um, this, with the financing structure in place, Millennium Companies saved this dilapidated building which was posing a threat to the safety of the residents. They have transformed this beautiful development with an array of services and amenities. These include walking paths to a three-acre lake, a beauty salon, a billiards room, and a full-service community kitchen. At the grand opening of the community room, which was named in honor of our good friend um, and departed Bill Graves, and Bill was very instrumental in helping securing funding to keep the building habitable while the renovation could take place. Please join me in welcoming Alan Walker-Lee of the Millennia Companies and his partners to the podium. OCCH for the partnership that they have provided us on this project as well as many others. We want to thank OFA for the tax credit issuance for the property to help with the development and also as was mentioned the new SPRAC assistance. I think our contract number is 00001. <laughs> so with all those mechanisms in place it became what it is today. On behalf of you know Frank Sinito, who's unable to be here today, our CEO and president, you know, thank you everybody. Sure. I think probably if Frank was here though, what he would say and tell you is uh, an excursion like this, along with all the partners that we had to make it happen, it doesn't happen with a good, solid property staff. The mere experience of transformation of a property like this with the construction the headaches, the notifications, the resident complaints, because not everybody's happy that it's happening, right? Uh, all of that that's going on probably would not have been endured in addition to learning two new affordable programs. Uh, Steve Christie, who is behind me here, is the property manager of the property. And I think most anybody else in this situation probably would have walked, uh, but Steve, actually had his first roots at the property at the age of 16, mowing lawns, I believe, and doing some light maintenance around the property for his mother, who managed the property at the time. And this property is literally the only adult working life for Steve since he's been working. So if you can imagine someone that's been at the property for close to 30 years and seeing a new management company, Millennia Housing Management, with the standards we have and the processes that we do, in addition to learning two affordable housing programs, the guy worked tirelessly. It's amazing he's standing here today. So, you know, if everybody would please just recognize that. I think, you know, to kind of close off a little bit, the probably the, and I, was, I threatened Steve, I was going to have him talk in the mic, but I'll take this for you, Steve. <laughs> um, one addition we did, in addition to everything else you saw in the pictures, is we had the opportunity to uh, bring in a couple of swans for our lake. And this was a period of probably, at first it was just a few days, then it turned out to be a few weeks, then it was probably a few months. And we kept storming back and forth, brainstorming, how are we going to get these swans to 
Dayton when we had to bring them from Cleveland, a three and a half hour drive away. So to make a long story short, what, what kind of car was it? It was a Mazda. If you can picture Steve, a maintenance technician, holding down two swans as they drive from Cleveland to Dayton for three and a half hours, I could just imagine being a driver on the road, seeing what's going on next to them. But that's how we got our swans to our lake, and quite honestly, they're an addition. We even named them after Steve and, Steve and the other maintenance technician. So that's, just thank you, everybody. Thank you very much.